every day I'm glad. <laughs> it is I, the you're close to dying fairy, the your childhood is over fairy. I've been thinking about this a lot lately and let's go through it together, okay? This is such a sweet and wonderful video of a little princess bowing to all the princesses she grew up with. Do you ever think that you're ever in your adult life going to experience the happiness that this little girl is probably experiencing right now? I don't think so. And it's a weird thing to think about, like the Santa Claus happiness, the tooth fairy happiness, the, oh my goodness, I can eat that whole thing of candy happiness, like, oh! It just makes you feel so warm inside. Is that why everybody's having kids? Hmm. Does everybody just want to vicariously live through this? I love her little Snow White dress. That is like such, that, that's the dress that I would go for too. Absolutely fantastic, absolutely superb. Man, I miss childhood. That is so cute out there. Just bowing to each other. Ah! As someone who never went to Disneyland, like my whole heart is just like, wow. If you're gonna talk about me, at least get your facts straight. I didn't just wear a hoodie every day in middle school, okay? I wore the same hoodie every day <laughs> in middle school. You would not believe your eyes, the 10 million fireflies. I felt this on a spiritual level and it's so embarrassing how I felt it was okay to wear the same hoodie every single day. To me, my hoodie was like my jacket, my same blue hoodie. I lived in it. I had no, like I, I had other hoodies. I had other t-shirts, but I only wanted to wear the blue hoodie. It was part of my identity. And the fact that he's just, he's singing that Owl City, I just, ugh. There are some cringe moments that we'd like to leave behind. This is one of them. This is something that I'm amazed that we were okay with. As a collective generation, we were cool with this. Why were we cool with this? Yeah, this is the most awkward thing I've ever seen in my life. I yeah, hate it. I hate it so much. They just emerge from the bushes and they're just cat rock. And like, as if like you'd be sitting there like, whoa, they are so cool. <laughs> I swear this is something that when I was a kid, I would like fantasize about it. Like me and like my group, like doing this little routine in front of everybody and everybody being like, whoa, <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that hurts. Oh my goodness, this is an absolute classic. How could we forget? Me in middle school, leaving the house thinking I did a great job straightening my hair and then bang. Oh my gosh, yes! It's these little quaint observations. It's these little specific things that you forget about and then when you're reminded, you go, ha ha ha, that was me, yeah, that was me. Part of the reason why is that I had a really cheap straightener. Like straighteners today are much better than they were back in those days. You can get like a pretty good straightener for pretty cheap now. Back then, like it was like a hundred dollars for like a good straightener. So even if you tried really hard, you were looking like this. Oh, a classic. Teachers when the whole class failed the test. <laughs> oh no. The worry, the anxiety that I used to feel in situations You're like this. 25 years of teaching. Yes, 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 yes. Except I got the, in my 25 years of teaching, I've never seen kids be so cruel to each other. That is literally something that one of my teachers said to our whole class because we just, we could not leave each other alone. We couldn't, we couldn't. We had a problem with it. And sometimes we were joking and the teacher thought we weren't joking. She was like, just stop it, please just stop it. When the teacher said never in my 25 years have I ever seen this, I felt like that was a real thing. But the fact that this is a TikTok and the fact that it has 1.6 million likes, it seems like a lot of people go through this. Do teachers use this every year to make us feel bad? Also, I've not been in school for so long and I still have nightmares about failing exams, forgetting I had an exam, it's so much to deal with and when is it gonna stop? But do you remember how it felt when you lost an item and an adult got it for you? Or you couldn't reach an item and an adult got it for you and you're just so happy because you thought that maybe you would never get to that item. Maybe you could never reach it. Maybe you could never get it back. Maybe you were shy to ask, but then this guy just helped you out. Oh my goodness, the relief. I can feel it too. POV, you sit next to the smelly kid. The way they go, yes! I haven't heard that in so long. Oh my goodness, is th this would be the kind of kid that like <laughs> picks their nose and eat it. I've seen a kid do that and it scarred me. Even though I was like a tiny little second grader, I was like, like how could you do that? 
Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. The Poggers is a new addition, but the way that they talk like, hey, what are you doing? For some reason, when they move their mouth so much, maybe this is like an outgoing kid waiting to happen. And like, this is enunciating for them. This is like kind of feeling the words and they're like just kind of trying to find themselves and just this awkward stuff. I miss it, I really do. Snacks that smack to a degree that is fundamentally unnatural. Tic Tacs. I would agree. I would agree. Oh, why did I try to smell them? I don't know. Tic Tacs are really good, um, especially the orange ones. I got Tic Tacs for the first time in years. The other day, I was just like, I'm an adult. <laughs> and I got the Tic Tacs. There's something less magical about the fact that it's uh, my own money that I bought it with and not my parents. Like, it just felt like such a steal. When you got something from the grocery store and you put it on the belt and then your mom let it stay there and you were like, yes. It's low-key sad how the next generation may have no idea what these are. What, what are? Hurry up. <laughs> I'm gonna be old by the time you show me what these things are. <laughs> oh. I mean, come on, they all have to know Barney. They all have to know Scholastic. They all have to play with these at the dentist room. I mean, I feel like an iPad's way better though, honestly, like, it's not that big of a loss. Teletubbies, I think they can go. I actually don't know who that guy is. Sesame Street was like a classic, classic. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom? Girl! Wait, was Chicka Chicka Boom Boom a collective thing? I thought this was just a me thing. Like I just rented this book out at the public library because it was beautiful. Do you guys know Chicka Chicka Boom Boom? That's crazy. Recorders? Why wouldn't kids know recorders? Am I out of touch? No. no. It's, it's the, the children, children who are wrong. wrong. It's so funny how like everybody in society is like cool and then they stop being cool. And then the younger generation makes fun of them for not being cool. And it's like this like perpetual never ending cycle. That's like kind of cool and fun to watch. Something that I'm amazed was actually cool though was the 2000s girl aesthetic. I lived through this and it was really something. These shoes, the, the bands that, oh, I mean, those are pretty cute. This is all just, this is just, oh, those earrings. <sighs> oh gosh. This isn't a bad version of it. Let me show you like a bad version of it. This, two bras. And yes, she's wearing the double push up Victoria's Secret bra. You had to, because you had to be, you had to have like, just, you had to have mommy milkers just out to here. You had to wear one tank top, two tank top, three tank top. Well, I mean, you didn't have to, but you know, this is what the popular girls wore. Four, yep, you had to, you had to have, three layers here. You had to. This girl knows what she's talking about. Yep. And then with the t-shirt on top, so it was like perfect to wear to school, you had to do your eyeshadow with your fingers because none of us really like, the makeup community wasn't what it was. So we were all just kind of winging it. You had to wear so much black eyeliner in your waterline and not like eyeliner on the top. So it was like very like bottom heavy. The nude gloss or the pink, you had to back comb the absolute crap out of your hair and she's ready to go. The little bump too, the little bump that you like saw in the final shot there, it's very important, it was crucial. Bonus points if you had shattered nail polish. 10 year old me when I saw crackle nail polish, yeah, mm, so cool. <laughs> you needed it, you wanted it. It was that and chrome nail polish. They were so important, like walked so hollow could run. When I don't have to fake my birthday on apps and websites anymore. Oh, I know. I know. When I'm like trying to buy wine or something, like I always, I always get nervous when they ask for ID, even though I've been of age for so long. And this is sad. Like I remember uh, we all used to use this one kid's YouTube account. He like gave us all the password and we all used it. And like that YouTube account is probably like 50 now. Oh, this girl drew herself with the character she grew up with. How cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, those Powerpuff Girls are so cute. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Don't you wish you could just like be a little kid and like watch all those things again for the first time? Me and my childhood for no reason. Whacking the ruler. Don't do, oh, I did that to, I did that to another kid's headphones and I feel so bad about it. This is just a classic. Grabbing a leaf is a classic. You have to, you have to, yes! Oh, okay, I was like, okay, what, do you, what is he gonna do? He's gotta suck it and just, I don't know why it just felt so good to do that. Mom Sorry, in your room. Why are you looking for it this in dirty. my room? This is dirty. You see this? You need, you need to put this in this. Why is the garbage on the ground? Who is this? Who are you writing this? Who are you writing letters to? Why do you have a tar in here? Do you clean a tar? Where did you get this? Where did you get these lights? Okay, I mean. Oh, these lights up. What? Did you do your homework? How was school today? Did you 
to make a new friend. If I were to have put these lights up on my room, I would have felt really cool about it, but it's when parents say like, why did you put those there? Like that makes me weirdly self-conscious about it. I feel like I've been like weirdly self-conscious about things that you shouldn't be self-conscious about just because of being asked why I'm doing something. Like, would it kill you to just say, cool, that's, that's awesome, I like that. Would it kill ya? The snooping, the snooping, I get it, I get it. It's your house, it's your roof, but come on. Oh, I'm so glad to have my own place. And also I feel like your room, like I feel like if you're assigning a room to somebody, it should actually be their room. The teacher helping you. Personally, I was never allowed to eat in class, except for one teacher's class in high school and I ate in that class all the time. But teachers who always told me to never eat in class, never chew gum in class, they always had this casserole of like stuff that just looked like air food, like this like healthy, like this green spinach, awful quinoa, whatever it was, like it looked awful, it smelled awful. And they always like had it and were eating it. And then they'd go like this. And you can like smell what her breath probably smells like when she's talking to you. <laughs> I mean, that's not bad. That's not, what's worse is when like the teacher makes you do really fast mental math, especially somebody like me, who's like not good at mental math. Like when a teacher would be like, okay, what's 64 times 78? And I'd be like, uh, and you'd be like, come on, come on. And then the, the student next to me would answer the question because they can do math in their head. And then I'd feel so stupid. Ah! There's so much about childhood that I don't miss. <laughs> Thinking back to when I was 10 and used to say this to other kids as a diss. Please, what was it? my fingers in a Z formation, exclamation, hip rotation, neck circulation, elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist, talk to the hand, talk to the fist, shut up, girl, you just got this, swish, swish, waterfall, girl, you think you got it all, you don't, I do so, boom with the attitude, boom with the attitude, bang, bang, choo choo train, wind me up and- Girl, I would have left, like, I would have been home by now, I would have walked from the school to my house by now, I would be eating my itchy band, watching cartoons by now. This is, that. this is crazy. Now two, not three, not four, a whole six pack. See my fingers, see my thumbs, see my fist, you better run. The extent the length of TikTok can be. That's insane. Now it's quite the diss. Maybe we weren't as witty back then. We had all these canned disses, you know? This is a better version of I am rubber, you are glue. This girl right here, Tori Locklear, she scared my whole generation. Like she scared us so bad. This video of the curling iron and the hair just coming right off. Absolutely. This was scarier than Saw for me. It was the scariest thing I've ever seen. I couldn't believe that it short-circuited. I was really happy to see her on Ellen and like Ellen gave her some curling irons and stuff like that. It was absolutely terrifying and it made me want to invest in better hair tools. I do think it's very lucky that like it was the hair down here that broke off because that's a really, that's really easy to hide. But back then like we, we didn't really know good workarounds for stuff like this. So it was, it was genuinely terrifying to see. POV, your child Childhood was toxic if you did the following. I did that. I didn't draw those, I drew stars, but I know a lot of people, oh, definitely used those. Definitely had those. What was wrong with these? I loved these, they smelled good. Didn't have Mr. Bubble. Oh, those ice creams though, they do look good. Eminem, yes. Lana Del Rey, yes. Oh my goodness. I mean, I wouldn't say it was that toxic. I remember all these things, like I remember going to a friend's house and like the specific smells of their houses. You remember the smell of your friends' houses? Nobody's houses smell like that anymore. Everybody smells like good now. It's weird. The flavor of the wooden spoon haunts me to this day. I feel like the spoon made the ice cream taste better. Oh, okay, for some reason, my hair would always get caught in this little thing right here. My hair would consistently get caught in these little screws. And I don't know why. The static was annoying. Yeah, it was, it was annoying. Yeah, it was annoying when your thighs got stuck to the chair but the hair getting stuck in these chairs was the worst part for me. The mental math, I was actually really good at this. Like I'm not good at doing math in my head, but I memorized all of the one digit mental math. And maybe that's why I'm not good at doing math in my head because if I couldn't memorize it, I'm, I was screwed. Oh, that's sad. Miss the days of waiting for your art to dry too, waiting for the finished product. What's one really bad thing you did as a child that you kept secret for your entire life and didn't tell nobody? I was around seven years old. I found a possum in my parents' basement. I noticed the possum was moving lethargically, so I decided that it was my job as a seven-year-old to nurse it back to health. That's a really, really bad idea. 
Um, definitely sounds like something a seven-year-old would do. I fed it grapes, I pitched a little tent for it, I brushed it, I sang Christmas carols to it. Uh -huh. And then one day I realized the possum is not in fact sick, it's pregnant. It gave birth to five babies in front of me. I helped pull one out with my bare hands. Stop. I was a full-on possum midwife. Then the possum runs away along with the babies. A few weeks later, the babies come back. Just the babies. I realize <gasps> this possum is dead. I start bawling because at the time I helped deliver the possum baby. I had Cheeto dust on my hands. Okay, there's a lot going on here. She rescued a possum. Possum gave birth. She thought that the Cheeto dust on her hand killed the mother possum and she's the reason why the mother possum died. So she never told anybody about it. That's crazy. When I was younger, one of my houses had like a, a, a pin code lock and one of the girls wash me while I typed it in, which I didn't think she would do. And then she like showed me that she could unlock my back door and she was like, I know the code to your house. <laughs> and it like literally scarred me forever. I told my sibling about it and my sibling decided to use that as blackmail against me. Like I'm gonna tell mom and dad that your friend knows the code if you don't do this. And I, it was the perfect blackmail. It was horrendous, even though I just wish that I told my parents, because if I did, they would have changed the code. But kids don't think rationally, do they? That is all the childhood reminiscing that I had for you. Let me know how this video made you feel. I feel like I'm... I feel like I miss it. I like adulthood and I probably wouldn't trade it, but I do miss some of the really high highs of childhood sometimes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please check out the creators that were featured in this video. And if you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications. I will see you on the next one. Bye.